I had a lot of the people who know me use five words to describe me. The word that they used most to describe me was confident. And it made me think about where did I gain all this confidence from? Because if you ask myself five years ago, to break my scale of confidence from a one to 10, it wouldn't even be close to, I would be surprised to see that everyone thinks I'm so confident four or five years ago now. So people say that I'm confident and that, and that made me wonder like, what was the biggest thing that helped me increase my confidence and all these things? I wasn't always a person that people think I am the confident person. I'm not, I am now. You know, I tell, I tell people to have that confidence. You should believe in yourself and you should be comfortable with who you are. You should, if you're not comfortable with who you are, you should improve until you become who, someone that you're confident in. But that has to be internal. Before you can ever be confident doing anything, talking to someone who you would find attractive, disagree in class, raise your hand in class, before you can state your opinion confidently, before you can make any changes in your life, before you can go to the gym, you have to be confident enough to say, I belong there. You know, before you can ever be comfortable taking the last shot in a game, you have to be comfortable and confident in, I'm, I can make this shot. If you don't think you can make it, you'll never be willing to take it. And that's anything in life. But the biggest thing where you, the reason why people to this day, every single second right now, there's a guy right now or a girl who are wanting to do something, but are not confident enough to do it right now. At this very moment, there's someone who is wanting to start their own business, but are afraid their friends will judge them, so they don't do it. Or there's a guy right now who's wanting to approach this girl he finds attractive, who right now is not going to do it because he's worried about being rejected. Why is that? Oh, he's he's got bad social skills. No. I never spent a day in my life learning social skills. I never, I never watched a single video on how to make YouTube videos. I've never done it. I've never watched a video on how to talk in a YouTube video. I've never had to do it. Because the truth of the matter is the key to confidence and becoming good at things is you must win the battle between your ears. That is the biggest problem that most people face today. 90, I'd say 99% of people today, the biggest issue they have is within themselves. They are fighting these internal battles. They have that voice. Everyone has that voice. I still have that voice. Listen to like, you know, if you watch David Goggins, he talks about that voice. He still has it. As tough as he is, he's probably the toughest person on the planet. And he still talks about that voice. The internal battle is what made Michael Jordan great. He used to say all the time, "You are." everyone talks about how great Michael Jordan is. But the reason why he said he was great, he said it wasn't about being better than Clyde or Larry Bird or Magic or Karl Malone. It was about proving to myself that I could be better than who I was the day before. It was always about pushing myself more than, I put, he said he pushed himself more than anyone else could ever push him. You, so it was never about anyone else. It was about proving to himself things. And that's what we don't have, the issue that we have that keeps everyone from becoming as great as they possibly can, from getting the things they want out of life, from getting the beautiful girl, from getting the nice car, from getting the nice house, to starting their best business, to making new friends, doing all these things you want to do, getting in the best shape. It's mental. It's always mental. The reason why people who want to lose weight can't lose weight is not because they're genetically messed up. Like some people are genetically messed up where they have the bad glands, but that's a very small percentage. Most people can't lose weight because when they see cake, they can't help but eat it. They're not mentally, there's so much internal battles that voices, oh, you want the cake and then they go eat it. Every time you want to do something with your life and you let that voice in your head say, oh, you don't, you don't, you're, you don't want to approach that girl. You, 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 you're going to get rejected. Whenever you let that voice in the back of your head do that, you become mentally weaker. It has more power over you. I was once where you were, where you felt uncomfortable um, to go after your dreams. You felt uncomfortable taking the last shot. You didn't want to go approach the door. I once was there. But you want me to tell you how I changed that and I'm no longer that? The first thing I did was like, if I was nervous, I didn't want to approach the door, I'd approach her anyway. Simple. Now you are pushing beyond. You're going to live on your edge. It's like in the book, The Way of the Superior Man. It's my, one of my favorite books I ever read. Live just beyond your edge. Don't be so afraid of messing up that you don't ever push yourself, but don't go overdo it. Push yourself. Say, if you feel uncomfortable talking to someone, go up there and talk to them. If you feel uncomfortable and your mind's saying, don't look them in the eye, don't look them in the eye, look them in the eye. If, you don't, if you're playing a basketball game and your mind says, 
Oh, don't take the last shot. If you get the ball at the end of the game, don't take the last shot. Take the last shot. It may not go well. You may miss it, but you will gain some mental strength. You will gain more control over your mind. The most important thing you need to control before you can even think about making millions of dollars, before you can ever even think about having a girlfriend, before you can ever think about doing anything great in your life, anything to improve your life, you must improve your mind. Everything else after that is easier, but you must first control this. If you can't control what's between your ears, you can't do any of those things. You can't get in the gym and consistently eat healthy and consistently go to the gym because your mom's going to say, oh, let's watch TV, and you're just going to buy into it. It's going to beat you, and you're just going to say, okay, I'm going to watch TV today. I'm not going to work out. But what happened to being in shape? Because now your, your mind is controlling what your brain Your brain's going to, so now there's cognitive dissonance. You believe that you should be in the gym every single day. You believe that. That's your belief. You feel like everyone should be working out, eating healthy, but yet you're eating Doritos and sitting around watching TV, missing three or four workouts a week. You're going to be in a, such a messed up place mentally. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you believe that you should go out and build your own business and be a leader and all these things, but you are a follower, all you do is listen to other people, you don't make any decisions for yourself, you don't run your own business, you work for people, you're going to be in such a messed up place mentally because what you are doing in your life is not helping you move towards what you believe in. So for me, I believe that you should work hard. I believe that you should always be trying to learn and trying to be a student. So if I was thinking I know everything and I was being lazy and I said, I don't need to listen to people, I don't need to listen to people who are doing better than me in life, I would be so messed up mentally, I would be depressed, I'd be all these things because what I believe in, what I'm doing in my life are not the same. So what I did was I said, let me start aligning my actions to my beliefs. If I, if you watch my videos and you say, you know what, I agree with what Leon's saying. I believe that I should work harder. I believe that I should eat better. I should get in the gym. Then start aligning your actions. Because once you start aligning your actions to what you believe, that is when things start to go better in your life. That's when you start making improvements. Because now you are gaining control of your mind. So the next time that you are um, you, let's say you want to gain some muscle or let's, maybe, let's say you're trying to lose 20 pounds. The next time that you go over there and your friends are eating cake and you ask you for a piece, your mind will say, oh, yes, take the piece. Be nice. But if they were, or your mind might say, oh, you don't want to be mean. You don't want to hurt their feelings. Don't care. They won't care. And after you say no, they'll say, great, one more piece for me. That's what they'll say. So why even care? Just say no and say, no, thank you. They don't, you don't have to tell them your whole story and talk about how you're trying to lose weight. And all this. You don't have to tell them that. Just say, no, thank you. I'm not hungry. And then keep it pushing. That's how I lost weight. That's how I've changed my life. That's how I gained confidence. Every time I didn't feel comfortable doing something, I did it anyway. Every time I didn't want to go out of my comfort zone, speak in front of 30, 40 people, I did. And when it went well, I was like, oh, great. Why was I so afraid? So now my mind's like, okay, we can't beat them that way. So they try to find a new way. Oh, you can't. See, you're so afraid. You're, you're still fat. You're still ugly. You're still all these different things, Leon. So don't approach that girl. No, I'm still going to approach her. Get her number. Go on a date with her. Everything's great. So watch. So now my mind's like, okay, we're not that. So now I gain more control of my mind. So now anytime I see someone or anytime I'm speaking in front of people, I'm confident. I don't care. I know I'm, I know I'm, I know I'm doing that. I know I'm good. Like, I know people won't like me when I say this, but this is what you should say. You should say, I, I know I'm great. And what goes into being great is I'm always learning. That's how I grew it. Being great is I'm always trying to learn. I'm always trying to improve. That's what I say to myself. And if that offends you, then you are afraid of being confident. You're offended by someone who's confident in themselves. Don't be offended by someone who's confident in themselves. If you're unconfident in yourself, if I'm talking to someone who's confident in themselves, me saying that, they're going to say, oh, cool, cool. I'm, I feel that too. I'm that too. It's like Kobe said. One time Kobe said, whenever he was playing MJ for the first time, one of his teammates told him, he said, oh, don't look MJ in the eye. And Kobe said, excuse me? And then he said, I don't think my under teammate understood that I'm that too. He was able to do more than anyone could have ever thought he could have done with his body. He wasn't a guy who could jump. He had 10 less vertical inches on his jump. He couldn't jump 48 inches like MJ or 45 like LeBron. He didn't have that. But he had 38-inch vertical. He was 6'6". Six, six. He was not the tallest dude on the court. But he had that dog inside of him. He had so much belief within himself. It didn't even matter. That is the one thing he always talked about was having the belief in yourself and doing the work and always trying to learn and always trying to improve. That's what Mamba mentality is. That's what, be, what it takes to become great. If you're, if you're working hard on your schoolwork, 
and things like that. You should say, I am a smart person. I'm hardworking. You should have some confidence in that. Like, if you're taking care of yourself, you're in the gym, and you're getting in the best shape of your life, when you see a girl you like, you should say, I can, I can get her a number. We'll be dating. That'll be my girlfriend. You should be able to say that confidently before you approach her. I can, I can get her. You should say, I can get her. Yeah, that's what y'all, I, I, I'm, I'm telling you, if you start doing the things you believe in, you start working hard, getting in the gym, all those things, you should be able to say, when you see a girl you like, yeah, I can get her. You shouldn't say, oh, she oh, she won't like me. No, you should be confident in yourself. You've been putting in all this work and proving yourself. You should be confident in you. But you must first fight that mental battle. You know, right now, if you're watching this video, I want you to say to yourself, let's say whatever your goal is, put it in your head right now. And say, what do, what do I need to sacrifice? What do I need to do? And say, and then do it, whatever you need to do, do it today. And after you do it today, say, I did that. Someone else who has the same goal as me didn't do that. I'm beating him. I'm beating her. I'm not saying beating them live physically, but I'm I'm closer to the goal than they are. And you'll start to feel some sense of confidence within yourself. Then you wake up the next day and you're like, I can't let them catch up to me because they might do it today. But if I'm if I'm already one percent ahead of them, if I do it today, I'll still be one percent ahead of them because they may not do it today. Now I'm two percent. 3%, 4%, five years go by, you got one person who's saying, I'm taking days off when they shouldn't be. You know, obviously you need days off, but they're taking days off when they're supposed to, they said they're going to work while you're just working every day you said you're going to work and you're taking the days off you said you were going to take off. Now you're a year's work of work for work ahead of them. And you can't tell me, but you, you wouldn't feel confident about that. You would. That's why the best players in the NBA are so confident within themselves. Because Kobe knew it all, all summer he was working on his game. As soon as they missed the playoffs, as soon as they got eliminated, as soon as they won, whether they won the finals or not, he worked on his game all season. All off season. While everyone else was partying and celebrating, enjoying their life, making enjoying their millions and partying and everything, Kobe was just in the gym. So when the season came next year, he knew, I'm way better than all these guys. And that's why he was the MVP. That's why he was a five-time champion. Same thing with MJ. Same thing with LeBron. Same thing with all of them. They worked so hard. That when the season comes, he know they know no one's worked as hard as them. So their confidence is always there. I've never seen a coward who is also confident. You're either going to be fearless and confident or a coward and not confident. You, you're, it's your choice to make. And I know which one you should make. Because if you're watching this video and you make it to this point, you're going to choose the one that I said. To be confident and be fearless. Plain and simple. Hope you enjoy. Hope this video helped you. And I'm done. With, I'm out. Until next time. Peace.